want that to bust and snap somebody in the face, it'll kill you. Farmer brought this John Deere tractor to us. It's a 2038R and it's almost brand new. It's only got 87 hours on it. And he went and hooked up his front bucket with the quick connect, took off, and the right side released. It let go. And the bucket swung out to the side, caught on the ground, and twisted this arm over here and messed it all up. Oh, that's painful. Anyways, he took it over to John Deere and said, I need you guys to fix this for me. They said, we can't fix that. We're not equipped to do that. They said, we can put a new front end loader on for you. And he said, oh boy, I don't want to make that investment. So he brought it to us. We were able to get this crossbar out. It's all hardened steel, solid, except on the end. And we were able to get a new one. You can see there's a grease fitting on the end. They've hollowed that out. Put a little hole in here. Machined a groove in there to get the grease through there. And it greases that arm there, that pivot point. There's also a hole drilled in here. You can probably see that's all solid. All solid hardened steel. That was $230. John Deere said they sell these all the time that people hook chains up to them and bust them or bend them bad. Anyways, he brought it over to us and said, is there anything you can do to help me? What we're gonna do is try to heat this up. <clears throat> if we have to, we'll cut this weld here and remove this plate or cut a groove down the middle of this and then weld that back together after we straighten it out. But you can see that's in pretty rough shape. And we're gonna see what we can do. And we'll take you along for the ride and show you how we do it. We got the torch set up. And here's the plan. Gonna heat that up. After it gets heated up, we're gonna start the tractor up. Got that chain hooked to the front axle, which is stout. We're gonna lift the front end loader and hopefully bend it back into shape. torque on that bar. bus and snap somebody in the face and kill you.
started to bend a little bit there. But man, this thing is tough. She's a tough one. I move the chain over. Try to take some of the bend of the pipe out of the leverage there. Get more direct pressure on it. See if that helps. heating up better. You're low on gas. I'm sorry about jumping up like that. Yeah, we can gauge it by this, so. Yeah. Once that gets close to that. Those two should line up. I figured the integrity of the metal had been shot and it would bend back, but the metal gets hot, it gets cool, and then it's strong again. We overcompensated that uh, control for the front end loader so jerky. So we're trying to get it straightened back, get those two pipes to line up. They're solid, it's hard and steel, real stout. So we got some pressure on there. It's moving. Go just a little bit beyond center. Yeah, push it that way. I believe that's good enough. Look at it, see what you think. Well, those pipes are lining up nice. Now she's not pretty, but she's functional. It's gonna cover up. We'll cover most of it up. Those pipes lining up is the key right there. I need to let it cool by itself though, so it'll the, the integrity of the metal will be better if it cools by itself. Okay. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to work on it until it cools off. I think we got it. Okay, it's pretty now. Eee doggy. She 
she's hot. You get the baked on paint. Getting some grease in there so she'll slide easier. How about that? She came right through. Pin lined up perfect. And this pin is all set to go. Just got to put that in. And we're beautiful on this end. Look at that. Taking grease, no problem, both sides. Oh, yeah. and here's the final finished product before we put the bucket on. You can hardly tell anything was done. Now, how about that? All for $19.99. Good deal. Plus tax and shipping. Beautiful. No, it'll wear, it'll wear in. Yeah. It's just new and the paint's new. You can't hardly tell it was ever done, can you? That's all there is to it. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.